inside of the concentration camps during the Second World War, people came from all different countries and walks of life. All of those people imprisoned had one thing in common, that the Nazis were keen to persecute, punish and erase them from the face of the world. Inside camps such as Berg and Belsen, evil SS guards would inflict violent beatings and would carry out executions in public to send a horrific message to other inmates. There are many stories that are waiting to be uncovered from sites such as Auschwitz, and inside the barbed wire fences of the largest concentration camp, there was one Scottish man who, due to an error, had found himself held inside Auschwitz. However, the Scottish John Fletcher would succumb to the evil concentration camp and would never make it out alive. Join us today as we look at the horrific execution of the Scottish prisoner of Auschwitz. And remember, as always, to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. John Fletcher was born on the 12th of December 1892, and he was the son of a sea captain. He was born in Dundee in Scotland, and would later become the only Scottish man killed inside a concentration camp. In 1913, he moved to France, and then he served inside the Intelligence Corps during the First World War, and he received medals because of his distinguished service. He was awarded the French Military Medal, and then in 1919, after the war, he married Lucia Fontaine, who ran a bistro in the town of Albert, near to where the Battle of Somme had erupted years before. John then became a French citizen in 1921, and he became known as Jean, using the French version of his name. But he then found work inside of the government-owned Potter's Aircraft Factory, which at the time was the largest aircraft factory in the world. John Fletcher continued to work at the plant, However, as the Second World War broke out, the Germans would rampage throughout France. On the 10th of May 1940, the Wehrmacht went into France, and they would, within six weeks, force the French surrender. The German war machine was too strong for the French and the British Expeditionary Force, which was ultimately forced back to Dunkirk, where it was rescued off the beachhead. Living under German occupation, the French people suffered heavily, and the Germans then used a huge amount of French factories for the German war effort. The factory where John Fletcher worked was requisitioned by the Germans, as they at the time needed aircraft parts and would use this factory to make repairs for their own aircraft. Fletcher remained working at the plant, even whilst the Germans were using it. However, he was arrested by the Gestapo and the German military police on the 20th of May 1942 after he had been betrayed by an informant to the Gestapo. Along with him, a father and son who also worked alongside him were locked up for two days, and the French authorities operated under the direct Nazi control questioned why Fletcher had been arrested. They said he was neither Jewish or a Freemason or a political prisoner, and the French also wrote to his wife, unsure as to why Fletcher was arrested and was taken prisoner. It has been claimed that he may have helped rebels in their sabotage work, or have worked with the Pignets. These were a group that helped shot down Allied airmen and POWs to escape back home, and they would use undercover escape lines to flee back home. Many of those went eventually through Spain and Portugal, and British soldiers could get back to Britain from Gibraltar. As he was fluent in English and French, Fletcher would have been an ideal person to help with these escapees. The three arrested men were transported to Frontstalag 122 in Compiègne, a German military prison which was used for political prisoners. Fletcher, the Scottish man, was given the number 5821, and he was then selected along with a thousand other prisoners to be deported. The local French resistance had been carrying out large-scale attacks in the local area, and in reprisal the Gestapo ordered these men, including John Fletcher, to be deported despite never being placed on trial. On the 6th of July 1942, he along with the others was forced at gunpoint into a cattle wagon, and he then went to Poland, where they were taken on the two-day journey to Auschwitz. Throughout its four and a half years in operation, at least 1.3 million people would be deported to Auschwitz, and at least 1.1 million would be killed there. The camp saw thousands being gassed and killed on arrival. John Fletcher was given the prisoner number 45544 at Auschwitz, and he was photographed when he got there. 
He was also marched then towards Auschwitz-Birkenau. He declared that he was Protestant when he registered, and he was sent to work at Birkenau, which became a place which worked as the main extermination element of the camp. Inside of the camp's records, though, he was wrongly labelled and identified as a French Jew, and it's possibly this that led to his death and killing. After arriving at Auschwitz on the 8th of July 1942, 21 days later John Fletcher was dead. His death certificate, which was drawn up by the SS, stated that he had weakness of the heart muscle, listed as his cause of death. However, this was never usually the real reason for his death. It's likely that he was one of over a million who were sent to their deaths inside of the gas chambers, and the fact he was listed as Jewish could have been what sent him to his death. He may have also succumbed to the violent treatment of the SS guards, who were known for brutalising inmates on a daily basis, and also performing executions in public squares. One historian claimed about the fate of John Fletcher that, I'd say with a probability, the border's uncertainty, is that his wrong classification as a Jew directly led to him being killed. Birkenau was a designated death camp. In October 1945, his death certificate was amended to include the words, Die for France. It was also said, as he was from Dundee in Scotland, he died for the honour of Scotland as well as for France. His story of Dundonian courage is in a sense a story of Nazi error, which made his death inevitable. No Jew was intended to survive Auschwitz, and certainly not a French Jew, in the resistance. However, if he had been declared as being Scottish or British, this could have given him a bigger chance of survival, and it's possible that John Fletcher may have been given a better degree of treatment than what he actually experienced. So John Fletcher was a Scottish man who was killed inside of the deadliest concentration camp of the Second World War. It was probably an administrative error by the SS that did lead to his death, and despite living in France for decades, he could have been saved as a Scottish man. He's a man whose story has been forgotten, and it's one that certainly deserves to be remembered, as John Fletcher was the only Scottish man to die inside of Auschwitz. Thank you so much for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And as always, once again, thank you so much for watching.